Hey guys, Andrew Andy here. Um, there's a new app out in beta uh, that I thought I'd give you a look at, which is called Thema. You may have seen the website microscreen.com where people post up how amazing they've made their Android device look um, with instructions of all the different files you need to put them together. It can be quite a lot of work to achieve uh, the, the results that they've managed to do. So what they've done is made an app called Thema, which allows you to apply a theme in one click basically. Um, so this is one that I've applied and I've fiddled with a little bit myself. Uh, so you can see I like this kind of the, the striping effect along the bottom and then up the side. Now I've changed it a bit, this still have an RSS feed in it. Uh, I've put my calendar and uh, TV show fabs in there instead. I have a bit of a problem here in that I've made my own folder for multimedia but I, I they don't supply any uh, icons so I'd have to make one myself which I might do if I was bothered I probably would it wouldn't be too hard I suppose um, you can change things for example when I first applied this theme the date was in the US uh, the US format so as you saw by holding down and selecting configure I get to choose what bit I'm configuring I can configure the the clock I can configure the date date settings, so you get all different, you can change around how you want it to look, so now yeah, um, you can you can have the month in there there's, there's all sorts you can change um, you can change to the weather weather so you can move things around, so even even though obviously it's supplied kind of ready to go, so to speak, you get quite a bit of flexibility of things you can change yourself. Um, that sort of one widget, you can do similar sort of things on here. You can drop your own, so if I tap the star on this particular one, you can drop your own things into any of the... Oh, that's interesting. So yeah, <laughs> it's not perfect. Um, so that's just one theme. If we go to... This is the, the app itself, really. Um, so we can browse themes by the most popular stuff, Pixel, or by the newest. We can have got my themes, so what any ones I've favorited, or ones that I've actually downloaded, so that's the one that I'm using right now, as you can see. Um, I can also, somewhere, where is it? Not there. I will share settings, advanced. Export, so if I've, so this one is gonna be my, I forgot what it's called now. Let's just call it my theme. Oh, so that's kind of say or it's saving now, as you can see, because I've made quite a few. Well, I say quite a few. I've changed the date format and a few other bits and pieces. So I'm now going to we'll have a look at some of the other ones, and I can always just reload this back in. So. Oh, well, I'll, sh I'll show you the other bits of the, the settings. Nothing too complicated. So, app preferences. Hello, there we go. So, I can change um, what weather app is linked to if I tap on weather, for example. What, you know, just all this. So, when I ask for a file manager, it's going to use Root Explorer. So, you can change which, which are linked. You can change which of your email boxes is going to show us the unread uh, if you want to be specific. So, all bits and pieces like that, which is quite good. Um, Mm, uh, nothing, um, not a great deal to see in the advanced bit actually I don't think or not that's worth, I think that's more for the, the theme, per, the person that's made the theme uh, it asks you to log in you can choose Facebook or Google Plus, some people got upset because it wants to know access to all your contacts and things like that but unfortunately it needs to, if it's going to operate properly as a as a launcher, which is basically what it is, it's a replacement launcher, if I press my home button it's going to ask me which launcher do I want to use, I want to use the theme I want. Um, yeah, so unfortunately we'll need access to a lot of information to be able to operate properly, to be able to give you the information on the screen basically. So let's have a look again at the themes. So for example, if I think that's quite a nice thing, I type on it, I get to see kind of a, a preview of the, the screens that you look at. I can favourite it or I can apply it. Now I'm going to try, because there was one I did like the look at, I quite like the look of this one. So if I tap apply, it downloads the theme, and then it applies the theme. Simple as that. And 
and it loads eventually. Come on. So, I've then got my dialer, my calendar, RSS feed. Now, I'm, I, oh, actually, there's a, there's a, so manage feed. So you can change, you can import from Feedly Look. Perhaps don't need to go into that right now, but so you can change what, um, what it looks like, um, but also what, what RSS feeds it's using in the story as well. There's the weather forecast, not looking so good. It's got BBC Weather linked through FEMA, that's what it opens when I tap on it. So, you know, I quite like that, and I think, uh, so I've, I've tapped on Twitter, and it knows that Falcon Pro is my Twitter app, so it's loaded that. It's quite clever. I don't think I've even told it that. What's it going to do if I tap? There you go. So we get a first chance to say, okay, if I tap news, I want to open Flipboard. And it'll, it'll remember that. I've not used Flipboard for a long while. Is that weather, I presume? Yeah, so it knows already to use BBC Weather. Um, I think on most of them, you can change. So if I open the app drawer, if I want to drop, put Dropbox on there. Done. Doesn't look so good, <laughs> but I can. If you know, if I want, I can take one of these out and, and put Dropbox back in. Let's get rid of that for the moment. Um, down here, I presume. I have, a, have a valid point to say. Well, it's not fair competition if these guys. So at that point, uh, it was that's my Beyond Pod. Uh, if I go into Beyond Pod Podcast Player, if I go into Play Music, I'd imagine then. Yeah, so it basically links to whatever you played last, I suppose. Um, so that's it, really. I don't know if I'm going to show you. So what you perhaps need to do sometimes, if you want to change things, is unlock widgets. If you're trying to, on some of the themes, like on the last one I showed you, if I wanted to alter how, well, I just wanted to remove something, perhaps, how to unlock them, and then I can go in and, and edit and configure. You can't do that until you've unlocked. So that's it. Now, it's currently actually in a... Uh, well, a closed beta, I suppose. You need a, a code. Um, there was one that's working. They've, they've issued that works for forty thousand uses. I don't know how many uses it'll have left. I'll, I'll stick that in the comments. You can, uh, or the information down below. You can see if that one still works. But this is Thema. It's in Google Play. It is free, but it's uh, you need a code to get it to work. I hope you like it. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.